past comes alive at North Metro TV, where we can help you transfer your old videotapes, films, cassette tapes, record albums, and even photographs and slides to DVD and digital so you can enjoy them again. North Metro TV, bringing the past to life. Teams play 100 foot, 100 yard fields with high school rules except for the, the rule changes that we have. There is a weight limit in this in this grade. The Gophers, the Gophers have won the toss and, and will receive on the north end, end of the stadium. And it is not a real nice day out there today, Dan. We got a little bit of rain coming down and a little bit of mist. It might uh, hold back on the passing a little bit. We'll have to see what happens when we get into the older grades, how much they throw, but usually you know, if, if you can keep the ball dry, you can still throw the ball. So we'll see what happens here. The Gophers this year were undefeated. They went through the season 10-0. Uh, the Dragons were 8-2. and two. The only two losses they had came at the hands of the Gophers. So there's a little bit of, revenge match a, little bit of a revenge here to try and get back into it. So the Gophers are setting up to receive as the Dragons get ready here to kick off. And the, Dragons are here, the Dragons will kick off from the south end of the stadium. Oh, oh shut up, Rolf. <laughs> How do I do that? Get the arrow on for home and get the ball to the... The visitors. Microphone, how's that? Is that off? Okay, you guys want to speak? That's a top 40. No, 64 is going to be on one. No. No, no. Are we on? Yeah. Okay, the kickoff. Number 11, Scott Robinson kicked off. And it was returned by number 55, who Justin is Rocco. Justin Rocco. Tackle by 44. So the ball is just about at midfield, about the 48-yard yeah, yeah. line. 44 minutes. And number 44 was in on that tackle, uh, uh, Chad Jensrud. So it's first and ten with the ball on the 48-yard line, and we'll, it'll take us a little bit here to get the backfield and everything lined up for you. But once we get find out where everybody's at, we'll we'll get into the flow of the game a little, Dan. It takes a while to get going to begin with. As the as the Gophers bring it up, we'll see who they have at quarterback. Number two, number two is. There was two shots. 86 a quarterback. 86 a quarterback fumbles the ball. Looks like he fell on it himself. 86 is Scott Corrali. And Scott's dad is the coach. Chuck over there is the coach. I'm sure he wasn't real happy with the first play having the fumble and snap. And we'll see what happens. We'll keep setting up the backfield for you. They bring him up, Caroli brings him up again. And in the backfield, you see who they, who they have in the backfield. It's kind of hard to see right now with them right at the end of the field. Oh! Justin Gross. And John Gross. And Brandon Powers on the tackle. Ken Schmitz, and with me is Dan Sanders. Third down we'll be here most of the day. Dan's going to have to miss at least one game later today. For, he's got to coach a game, but hopefully I was going to coach against him today, but it didn't work out that way. <laughs> Caroli brings him up, and he has number nine. It looks like Trevor Fishman is one of his backs. They have a kind of a power right, and they do get it to Fishman. It's a fumbles, and it's recovered by the Dragon. Brandon Powers recovers the fumble. Trevor Frischman, it looked like he had the ball. He just, nobody hit him, he just fumbled it. Yeah, I think maybe he's, maybe he's trying to switch his hands to get the run to the outside. 
with with the rain and stuff here we talked about it earlier today dan that could be part of the problem you do see that the refs are trying to keep it dry but with the rain and stuff it could they could be having a little bit of a problem number 11 scott robinson is a quarterback he pitches out to number 33 he's running the sweep oh he he'll get at least the first down nice run by number 33 craig surtzlip craig has an older brother too that is in the sixth grade i know i've coached him and played against him here's his younger brother craig that is a first down on the 27-yard line. So it's first and 10 now, the ball on the 27-yard line. And we'll see what uh, the Dragons have up their sleeve now. Scott Robinson brings them up. In the backfield, he's got number 22, Matt Duvall, number 33, Craig Sertzliff, and I'm not sure who the other one is. Oh, and here's a little reverse, number 20. A little end around the way it looked. Yeah, they just gave it to the wing back. It looked like and number 20, Billy Hangan on the carry. Number 20, Billy Hangan on the carry. Makes it second and three. see who made the tackle on that one? It's kind of hard. Number 75, Scott Miller. Scott Miller. There's a lot of gold in that tackle there. And that's pronounced Duvel, not Duvel. Duvel. Scott Duvel on the carry? No, it was number 20, Billy Hangan was on the carry. It's Scott Robinson brings him up. In the backfield, he's got number 33 and number 20, Hangan. So he's got Sarasliff and Hangan in the backfield. We got a lot of responsibility. It's right up the middle to Hangan. And he didn't get much at all there. He was met right away. Looked like number 55 was one of the first ones in there. That's Justin Rocco. Number 20, and Billy Hangan on the Steve Monsrud also helped out. Steven Monsrud on the tackle. Well, so far it looks like the Dragons are able to move the ball against the Gophers. Like I said, the only two losses the Dragons had this year came at the hands of the Gophers. Here we go, Scott Robinson brings them up. They're in a power eye right. And they're going to run the pitches off to number 33, I think. They had some nice blocking out in front, and once he got the corner, he had the speed to get in there, Dan. A lot of lead blockers out there, and that's what it takes to make the corner. So here we go. Now, the extra point here in the fourth grade, if you throw it in, you get two points. If you run it in, you get one. So the score right now is six to nothing. The home team, which is the, the Dragons, are ahead six nothing. Let's see whether they throw it or run it here, Dan. We got Scott Robinson brings them up. They're a power eye left. My guess is they're going to pitch it back to number 20 and go sweep to the right. You're right. Oh, it was a nice fake. I don't think he's going to make it, though. He was met over there by Trevor Frischman. Billy Hankin stopped short of the... Mike Johnson and Trevor Frischman didn't let Hankin get into the back. Into the end zone. So oh, they read that play right out from the beginning of the snap. So the extra point, it looked to me like a couple of the backs may have went the wrong way on that play. They didn't have any lead blocking out there unless they were trying to do a, you know, to like a run a counter, yeah. But it looked more like they were, they just didn't, didn't, didn't look right. It just didn't work. The score now is six to nothing with just under nine minutes to go in the first quarter. The Dragons are ahead. Well, let's see now if the Govers can take the ball and move down the field. Scott Robinson's going to tee it up here. Back deep, it looks like we have number 33 and number 9, Trevor Frischman and Matt Hendricks are deep. Robinson kicks it. It looks like the up man takes it. That's number 5, 55. Nice return. Gets it just about back to midfield. Justin Rocco. So we got just about back to midfield. This is right where they had the ball to begin with. In the before they had that bad job. Yeah, before they, before they snapped and then also the, the next play they fumbled. So we'll see now if the Gophers can get it going here on offense. Size uh, front line there on defense. Scott Corrali brings him up. He hands up. Oh, 
somebody caught from behind. Nice tackle. Number 44, Chad Jones. Number 20, uh, Billy Hingen was also in on that tackle. Who carried the ball? I didn't catch the number. Did you see who it was? Lots of four makes a second and 14. You can hear me now? Okay! Scott Crowley <laughs> brings them up. Crowley <laughs> brings them up, number 86 in quarterback. Kind of a strange number for a quarterback, but he is a big kid. Hands off to Tre Trevor Frischman. Oh, oh and what a that was a great read on that young man's part. He wouldn't let him get outside. It looks like the Dragons came well prepared for today's game. Oh, yeah, I think they're, they're fired up. Is really fired up. That makes it third down. They got third and about 20 here. It's a long way to go. And he gets to anything in this play if he wants to put the Wait, you want a cup of coffee? He doesn't drink coffee. Scott Crowley brings him up. And he hands off to... Oh, and he's stuffed right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard gain there. It looked like Matt Hendricks on the carry. Hendricks on the carry. Number 64, James Doherty. James Doherty on the tackle, and it's fourth in a long way. One of the rules here in the fourth grade is if they punt, they declare it, and the defensive team can't rush the punt. So it gives the guy as much time as he wants to kick it, and it does look like they're going to punt because the, the Dragons are sending in their punt return team. Yeah, third down in the scoreboard. Fourth down. So here he's back to punt. It looks like Justin Rocco is going to punt it away for him. Takes the snap. There's a kick. It's a short kick off to the left. And Billy Hangan. Just stay away from it. <laughs> oh, he picks oh. it up and was met right away by Matt Hendricks. Number Ooh, 20, was hit right Hagen. away by Hendricks. I don't know if I'd have wanted my guy picking that ball up. Oh, I think if I, I would have been uh, yelling at my young man to just get away from that ball. Too many things can happen. Ball at the 40-yard line, the left hash mark on the 40, first and 10 now for the Dragons. And we'll see what uh, Scott Robinson has in store for him out here as they bring him up. He's got Hangin in the backfield again. Oh, and he fumbled the snap. And it looks like the Gophers have got it. I think the Gophers recovered it. No, I, mean, I thought 67 had it, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, the green recovered. Dragons keep the ball. Number 97 down there. Jason Balthazar on the bottom of the pile comes up with the ball. On the Seems like the first two times they've had the ball, they have a little bit of mix-ups there. Here comes Scott Robinson in with the play. He's got Hangin in the backfield along with Matt Duvall. They're on a power right right. They pitch it back to number 33, Spring Sertzlef, and he makes a nice run. He's got the first down and more. Nice run, about a 15 yard run. He was caught down there by Kirk Olsen. Number 33, Craig Sertzliff. Craig Sertzliff is impressing me so far early in the game, Dan. Kirk He's had two really nice runs. Really quick feet. He can, uh, it looks like he can uh, squeeze through the tightest of holes. He's got good feet. Okay, Let's see what, what Scott Robinson does as he brings him up here. It looks like they like to run right. They got some big guys there on that offensive line. They got Jason Baldazar over there who recovered that fumble. He's a big guy. Here's a handoff to Hangin coming this way. He's got the corner. Cuts it back inside. Looks like he's going to pick up about 13, 14 yards as he drags that. Oh, over. man. What a nice Four run. or five guys oh, hanging on to him and he keeps on going. What a run. Number 88, Travis Doctor. And Mike Johnson in on the tackle, but he drags both of those players along with at least one other guy. I mean, he wasn't going to be denied. He wanted the first down and more. That was a real nice run by Billy Hangan. Ball's on about the 34-yard line, first and 10 for the Dragons, and it looks like they might they want to bring it in here again. They see Scott Robinson the at will right now. pitches out to Craig Sorensen. Nice cut, cut inside, and he's about a four-yard.
fair game there. Scott Miller on the tackle, number 75. Zaris up on the Gary Miller on Scott the tackle. Robinson. One of the things, this is pretty good here at fourth grade le level. They're, they're uh, singling the plays into the quarterback. Usually most teams will run the play in with a, with a back or something, but they've got it here where they're actually singling the plays into them. That takes a lot of coordination. One of the things, the quarterback is the coach's son, so he probably works <laughs> on it at home with him. Oh, and bad pitch, but Bill Hangan makes a nice nice recovery on it. He loses about a yard over there. And yeah, defense did a good job of uh, coming in on that uh, mix-up there. Matt Hendricks and Matt Trevor Hendricks. Frischman were in on the tackle. And Trevor Frischman just, on the tackle. Well, with the weather the way it is, it's kind of tough, I think, to be pitching the ball. And stuff. Down, it's got to be tough seven. to hang on. For here comes Scott Corrali bringing him up again. We have a pole right in our way up here when they get in this part of the field, so we can't see the backfield. Pitch it, you saw him pitch it, must be so so. And he's going to be so oh, 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 Seven-yard line. And what a, Scott Crawley, the quarterback, and Hendricks, they both made a nice play over there. But what a cutback. It looked like Trevor Frischman had it, and he cut back inside of him. So it's going to be first and goal from the nine-yard line. Looks like they're going to have to do something on their defense to keep, cut that corner in. That was quite a, I thought they had him in the backfield, and he broke that tackle, stiff on the guy, broke the tackle, and, and from there he just uses speed to outrun everybody to, towards the corner of the end zone. Scott Corrales brings him up. He's got the pitchers to... Oh, there's oh, a fix up there. there. It's fumble. It. it wasn't a very good pitch at all. It was behind oh. him. It behind and high. It wasn't a good pitch. They've had problems twice Number pitching to that side. 22, Matt Duvall. Matt Duvall recovers, the recovers fumble. his own fumble. It's kind of tough to blame that one on Duvall, but, but he was uh, the last one to touch it. He did a real good job to get back on the ball, though. Yeah, exactly. But they did lose four, almost five yards on that play, probably at least five yards. So we're going to go to second second down here and second goal on the, almost the 15-yard line, just inside the 15. Okay. Back to pass. pass. Oh, and it's a, a oh, the Statue of Liberty. Sorceless in trouble. And I don't think he's going to get out of it this time. <laughs> Holy God, I can't believe it. There's oh. six, seven, eight, nine. Number 44 finally brings him down, Mike Johnson. But he slipped at least six good tackles. That kid is really running real well. Third and goal the 15-yard line. With 14 seconds to go here in the half, it's six. They're in the quarter. It's six to nothing. I don't know if they'll get another playoff before the end of the quarter. I don't think so. I think they're going to try to see if they can get it up there in time. No, I don't think they will. That'll be the end of the first quarter. So at the end of the first quarter, we have a, the Dragons ahead six to nothing. And they're the home team on the scoreboard. And they're marching the football once again. And the Dragons have the ball and they're marching. And we'll see, they're gonna have, uh, they got third and 15 though from the 15. So they got a little work to get in there. You bet. <laughs> we can take one, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and take one. Yeah, take one. We're going to take a quick commercial break here at the end of the first quarter with the score of the Dragon Six, the Gophers nothing. There are two ways to build a body. This way, and this way. Anabolic steroids, another drug that can kill. The Minnesota Medical Association and the Minnesota Nurses Association. Partners in care because we care. Okay, back here at the start of the second quarter, the first offside play, we had an offside penalty around. against the defense, so it's still third down and 10 now with the ball at the 10, third and goal from the 10. Scott, Scott Robinson back, to, back pass. to pass. He's got him open in the end zone. Oh, oh. Sarislip just threw his hands. Pass. Just Robinson barely threw Sarislip's hands. Looks I, like know, if he would have waited just uh, another second, them guys would have been right where he wanted them. That's one of the problems with wearing the gloves in, in this type of weather and stuff. You just you don't get the feel. You know, I know with the cold and stuff, and these are young kids, but 
I really tried not to have the players on my team wear gloves. I know I had a few that did anyway. Yeah, it's hard. But one, one thing I did do with the wearing gloves is I made them wear them all year then. Uh, so that they were always used to it in practice, running, everything. They had to wear them. Robinson fumbles the snap and it's recovered by the Gophers. Oh, what a break. Oh, the Gophers come up big there. Number 55, Justin Rocco with the recovery. Just when the Dragons were uh, driving down there, the Gophers came up with the big play that they needed. That was a big play. I mean, they they really needed that. It's too bad that, uh, you know, Sky Robinson, they, they had the touchdown to play right before that, and, and they dropped the pass in the end zone, and then the, to fumble it away, it was fourth down. So I guess really the fumble didn't matter that much at that point. You know, even if they would have recovered it, it was still going to be the Gophers ball, no matter which what happened. But it's too bad. The ball's about the 11-yard line, first and 10. As Scott Corrali brings them up. It looks like they're in a wing right. He's got Trevor Frischman and Matt Hendricks in the background. In the backfield, he hands off to Hendricks, trying to sweep wide right. It looks like he, oh, he's caught from behind again. Oh, it's amazing. They had a lot of lead blockers. Well, that Chad Jensen has been all over the field on defense. That kid came all the way from the right-hand side and cut him, caught him from behind. That's twice now he's done. They're going to have to do something to, to keep Jensen out of their backfield, or they're going to have a real hard time all day trying to run wide. And it looks like that Jensrud uh, can read a play very well. He made the big play over here in the first quarter when they tried to sweep to his side and he cut him down. And then now he, twice he's caught him from behind. <laughs> We've got an awful lot of time going on here. It looks like, yeah, delay a game penalty against the golfers. That really hurts them. They should have called timeout or something there. there. There's no reason to have a delay of game at this point. Now, there must have been a they, mix up of what type of play they wanted to use at yeah, that point. It looked like the coaches just couldn't quite decide. It wasn't, the they just never got it out, never got the play going. They're ready. It's second and second about 14 here. The ball is just outside the or just outside the five yard line. Scott Corrali under center. Trevor Frischman, and it looks like they're going to give the ball to Frischman. Oh, he's no, in no. trouble. Oh, he gets out of it, but he still lost yardage. Oh, that was close to a safety. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Number 20, Billy Hangen with a nice tackle on the play. He broke out of there just to keep his team out of trouble. Trevor Frischman was in big trouble Trevor back there. He was able to get out of it, but he couldn't get around Hangen. Number 20, Billy Hangen on the tackle. Let's see, they're, they're taking a lot of time again here, Dan. You know, I'd hate to see them get another delay of game. <laughs> I would think they're going to have to come up with a play because I don't think they'd want to punt from that part of the field. No, definitely not. The one nice thing is at least they can't rush your punter, so you don't have to worry about a block. Scott Corrali takes the hand off, or takes the ball, hands off to Trevor Frischman. And Frischman gets it out to about the seven yard line, but eight yard line maybe. Billy Hengen again on the tackle. Hengen and Jensen have been all over the field so far for the, for the Dragons. And they will punt this ball. Okay, it's the middle of the 10 minutes to go here and a little more than 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. The score is 6 to nothing. the Dragons. This is the championship game for the fourth grade in the Blaine Spring Park Athletic Association. The Dragons should come up and with an excellent field position. My name is Ken Schmitz, position. and with me is Dan Sanders. Back to punt is Justin Rocco, and a nice kick this time. It's caught by number 44. He's, got a, he's in trouble over there, though. <laughs> He got a little bit of a return, but number 44, Chad Jensrud, who's been all over the field on defense, took that kick, and I don't know, I guess I would rather have my guy run straight up the field than run across the field. Like, get everything you can out of it. But, you know, he's trying to make the big play, and, and you can't fault him for that. Well, they, they got the ball at the 28-yard line here, Dan. I, that wasn't, I mean, it was a good kick, but when you're kicking from your end zone, it's tough to get it out there very far, especially when you're only in fourth grade. <laughs> he did. Scott Robinson brings him up. They're in a power eye left. Looks Pitches like off to right. third slip. He breaks one tackle. He's still going. Breaks a couple tackles. Breaks some more. And finally, number 75 is going to 
hang on to him. Mike Miller uh, was in on that tackle. Scott Miller with a real nice there tackle on there. He, uh, Scott Miller hung on. I mean, they, they're going to have to do more than just try and grab Sarkisov with, with their arms. I mean, they're going to have to yeah, use their shoulders to bring him down. He's, gonna, he's strong enough where he runs through those arm tackles. The center is, it looks like, number 96, maybe? Okay. Yeah, Brandon Powers, I think, is the center. Billy Hangman takes it right up the middle and doesn't get much at all. And actually, I think he probably lost about a half a yard on that play. It looks like Ryan Tampty was in on that tackle. And Justin Rocco. Scott Robinson brings the play in from the sidelines here. It looks like the Gophers' defense might be starting to figure out their offense a little bit here. <laughs> they seem to be uh, stiffening up and letting uh, very little go by. Scott Robinson is going to pitch it out to serve slip. He's got some oh. walkers. Oh, and he cut inside. He I think he should have cut outside on that. He oh, cut right into Matt Hendricks. Matt Hendricks laid a blow on him. He's lucky he held him to the ball. You can see Sarah Slip might Hendricks. have the wind knocked out of him. And just a little bit there. On the tackle. It looks like Sarah Slip is hurt to me. He, uh, I, I definitely think Sertzliff got the wind knocked out of him. He's kind of bent over there in the huddle. He's holding his stomach. He doesn't look like he feels too good. That Matt Hendricks really, really laid a blow on him right there. When he cut inside, they really laid a blow. Looks like they're going to punt on this. That's not a bad play here. If they no, can punt it and get him down deep. Yeah, down deep in the end zone. It's, I, I think it's a really good strategy on the coach's part. Again, here's, here's where the rule comes in where you can't rush the punter. So they may, I don't know if he'll try and kick it down the middle or kick it towards one of the sidelines, but we'll see what happens here. Looks like he's going to kick it right down the middle. It's a nice kick. Trevor Frischman takes it. Number nine. He's on the five-yard line. I don't know if he's going to, oh, it nice, breaks a nice tackle. And he's still going. Nice return by Frischman. There's where the punt didn't help at all because they, got, they only gained five yards on the punt. They, uh, I guess Number if I was a coach at that point, I'd want my kid to kick it towards the sideline so you hem him in a little bit rather than yeah, have a little bit of time to uh, get down there and uh, stop the heat. I didn't see who was in on the tackle. Was was on number 44, Ch uh, Chad Jensru. Jensru was one of them over there. And there was a whole bunch of them over there finally by the time he got out to about the 24. Scott Corrales brings up the Gophers here. And there's uh, seven minutes to go in the second, in the first half. They're going to need to to drive the ball here and get, get on the scoreboard here in the first half. Yes. 33. Matt Hendricks steps in at quarterback and he's going to throw the ball. <laughs> he wanted to throw the ball, but they just they were all over him. He's going to lose about three or four yards on that play. They were just all over him. Matt Hendricks on the carry whole host of green jerseys. It definitely looked like he wanted to throw the, the ball. And Andy Torma was the first one to meet him there after he ran around in the backfield for a while. Well, along with a lot of green there. He didn't, he didn't have many places to go. No, they definitely, they, they snuck him in there to try and throw the pass. And I think maybe the Dragons have seen that before, considering these two teams have played <laughs> twice before this year. So they got Corollis back under center now. Hendricks is in the backfield along with Frischman. And it looks like they're going to hand off to Rocco. Here comes Rocco. Oh. He's got a big hole around his side. He's got a lot nice of blockers out there with him. On James Reed. He cuts it back inside and finally is dragged down at the 40 yard line. Number 55, Jonathan Gross on the tackle with help there from Pat Darcy. Number 55, Justin Rocco on the carry. Number 55, Pat Darso, I guess it is. Pat the Darso. The that was a well designed play. I mean, they even got the quarterback out in front. They had a they lot had. of lead blockers out there in front. And that, uh, on that play, they're running right at Jensrud. And somebody, I didn't catch his number, but somebody threw a beautiful block on Jensrud. Really knocked him down. Maybe that's a key. Maybe that's the to run right at the strong part of their defense. You, you gotta block him. If you're gonna run at him, you better block him. Corrali brings it up. And he's gonna hand off the freshman and he's gonna leave block for him. Hangin in the backfield turns him in, but he's still going to pick up four yards. Jensrud comes all the way from the right side and makes the tackle over there. He did a great job to get some yardage on that. Oh, Hangin could have had him in the backfield. He tried, he tried to tackle him just a little bit too high. And even at this age, these kids are strong enough where they're going to run through your arm tackles. You've got to get them down a little bit lower to bring them down. It's going to be second and six here, Dan. And um, it looks like the Gophers may be starting to move the ball. I mean, they, they haven't lost all year, and I don't even know if they've been behind very much. I know there was only about four touchdowns scored against them all year, so the Dragons are really, really fired up here. 
Crowley fumbled the ball. It looks like Crowley, no, Crowley did not get on it. Uh oh, the Dragons recover the ball. Gordy with the recovery over there, number 64. I thought for sure Crowley was going to get back on it. It looks to me like, like the, the Gophers are kind of, they're, they're even arguing amongst themselves out there a little bit at this point. Now, that's the problem, you, you know, they've been 10 and 0 all year and they've only had just a few touchdowns scored on them. They're not used to being in this situation. They're not I think used a little bit of behind. frustration showing right there. <laughs> Scott Robinson brings him up. He's going to throw for it. Oh, he's in oh, trouble. He's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Look like number 80, 86, Scott Caroli, the quarterback, is. He's kind of Scott fired up after fumbling the ball. He wanted the sack, and he definitely got in there and got it. Sacked by number 86, Scott Caroli. Robinson over here, they, they, they got to take a look at this guy. You know, if they're going to pass like that, you can't leave a guy free here. Your quarterback's kind of hung out to dry. Well, they should have had a back or somebody picking him up. Here comes Robinson. He's bringing him up again. He has Matt Duvall, uh, Sertzliff, and Hengen, and the pitches to Sertzliff. He cuts it inside, cuts it back out. And it looks like number 44 was the first one. That was Eric Johnson. And then Trevor Kirschman come up and just drilled him. That was a nice tackle. I mean, that's what you try and teach your kids is when one guy's got him wrapped up, you come in there and, and lay a lick on him. Yeah. You need a, you need a whole team. One, one guy can't bring down a uh, running back like that. You have to have a little bit of help. You want that second kid to come in, you know, and, and lay a good look at him because that's where you get a lot of fumbles and stuff. I mean, that's, if you can teach that to get that second kid to come in there and put his shoulders on the ball, you'll get a lot of fumbles. Robinson's back, back to pass. pass again. He's in trouble. Oh, and it's complete. Caught by the ball, but he's not going to get much. Ooh, Robinson got drilled back there in the backfield by number 55. Justin Rocco drilled. Robinson just as he let go of it. Duvall made a nice, a nice catch on it. Yeah, in between uh, two defenders, that was a yeah, great Mike catch. Yeah, Mike Johnson was all over him. I would say they're going to punt it here. It looks like they have declared the punt. So they need, they need a good punt here, and they got to get good coverage. <laughs> Billy Hangins, their punter, who sets up. There's the kick. Oh, it's oh, a nice is. kick. Great nice cut. kick. And that's oh, if it goes into the end zone, they could be in. Oh, oh it is. Just it's a hop right at the last second. James Reed misses the tackle. He had no choice. number 11. What a tackle down there by Scott Robinson, the quarterback. He grabbed onto him and just tore, pulled him right Billy, down. He had to take that ball. Otherwise, they had to start right at the road. Yeah, yeah, he had to pick it up. He had to, he had to pick it up and run it. And he did a real good job to get it out to the 12-yard line. And looked to me like he was going to be in deep trouble back there. I think it was Trevor Frischman that picked that up and ran it. First down at the uh, eight yard line. No. They're first down at about the 12 or 13 yard line here. We got Corrali comes up under center. We got to kind of watch that because they like to stick Hendricks up there every once in a while. Corrali's looks up like uh, their defense is reading these plays. Hands they're... off the freshman. He cuts inside number 55 and then a nice tackle there. You know, Ken, at the beginning, of, it looks like, the beginning of that play, you see their whole uh, dragon defense shift into the right. It seems like they were leading that play. So it looks like we have a timeout here called time by the dragon. Oh, no, dragon. called by the Gophers. The refs gave us a run signal. With 117 to go here in the first half, the Dragons are ahead 6 to nothing. And it's been a real good game so far, Dan. That's been a yeah. great game. One thing, the game has been played in the in the Gophers' end of the field, though, the whole first half. Um, ever since they, they took the ball down there. So we'll see what uh, what the Gophers come up with here because it would be, I mean, they could really s swing the momentum of this game if they could get a get a long touchdown here. But so far, the the Dragons' defense has been real tough. I mean, they've really got these kids ready to play. I think uh, they have a two two or three key leaders out there on defense. The way it seems, it seems like uh, when a back makes a move, they are reading the play very well. Well, they got some real good outside guys there with Jensrud and Hengen. You know, Jensrud's on the outside on the right. He's playing an outside linebacker, and they got Hengen on the other side. I don't know. I think if I was the Gophers, I might try and run up the middle on these guys a little bit and try and, you know, they pursue so well that if you could start pumping it up the middle, then maybe fake one up the middle and, and bust it outside quick. That is, that's, a, that's a very good observation. 
Rawley's at quarterback again. He's got Hendricks back there. Looks like he's going to give it to Hendricks just from the look. But, oh, they run a little reverse there to Cushman and Hangen. Oh, just talking about Billy Hangen. And he comes up and makes a great tackle. They, uh, they had they're the right side of the staying home uh, really well. They, they're doing a very good job. They're going really to have to do something to, to take care of Hangen and Cushman. Uh, or Hangen and, Hangen and Jensru. They're going to have to do something in their blocking. I mean, they've got a key on those two guys because right now those are the two guys that are really hurting them. Uh, it looks, you know, you look at the, the middle of the, the defense there, though, they got some big guys in there. Yeah, I think they're uh, <laughs> looking at, you know, James up the Doherty's middle. in there, and Brandon Powers is in there, Andy Torma's in there. There's 33 seconds to go here. I think I probably would have called timeout if I was the Dragons coach back there. Here comes Frischman, and sweepy right. Jensrud, oh, Jensrud oh. ran by the play. And he's going to have the first down and more. Hangen comes all the way from across the field and makes the tackle along with Jess Fuller. Hangen and Fuller came all the way from the other side Trevor and made the Frischman. tackle. So they got the tackle first down and he was out of bounds, which is important because it didn't stop the clock it's going out of bounds here. In the, the, the fourth grade rules, the last two minutes of the half in the game are regular time. I mean, they're, they're run with... Uh, High school rules. High school yeah. rules as far as stopping the clock. They stop the clock on first downs first and out of bounds. Ten yards to go for uh, the Gophers the score on the 32 yard seconds line. to go here in the first half. It's six to nothing. And the ball is on the 32 yard line. It's first down. Downs at this point don't mean a lot. With 20 seconds, they need a, a quick hitter here. They need a big play. Here comes Corrali. He's up under center. And it looks like they got Rocco on the wing. And the pitch is back, and it's a little reverse to, to Hendricks. Hendricks cuts it inside. Number 55 drags him down from behind. That was Jonathan Gross with a nice tackle over there. The Gophers call timeout with eight seconds to go. Number 67, Jonathan Blado. Blado? <laughs> Blado, I think. Blado. Jonathan Blado with the, was on the bottom of the tackle, and number 55 was there. And you can see we have eight seconds to go here in the first half. Uh, the score is still six to nothing. The Gophers have the ball on about their 32-yard line. Uh, I don't know, Dan. They, they haven't been able to move the ball that much yet. They've only had just a couple of plays, a couple of first downs. Uh, their defense is key. They have to, uh, this play here has to go to the end zone. There was, there's not going to be much time to do another play here. This one's going to have to go uh, either all the way or... Uh, Scott Crawley takes the ball, hands it off to Frischman. He gets outside. Oh, nice job over there to turn him back in. He's still, and on, he's his still on his feet. Oh, and that's going to be the end of the first half. But boy, what an exciting play to end the half. Number 31, Patrick Garso, Dar and number 75, Andrew Torma were in there. I, nice, nice tackle. So that's the end of the first half here. At the end of the first half, the score, the Dragons six, the Gophers nothing. I'm Ken Schmitz along with... Uh, Dan Sanders here. We'll be back right after this announcement for the second half. It's being played at Panther Stadium at Spring Lake Park High School. And it looks like the Dragons are going to receive here for the second half. And the Gophers will kick off. The Dragons are ahead six to nothing. And it's been a real good first half so far, Dan. Great, great game. Great game for uh, a championship game. Uh, both teams are playing really well, uh, defense and offensively wise. So we'll see, see what happens here in the second half. I know they've uh, it's been, you know, real exciting so far in, in the first half, and we'll see if the Dragons can keep going. Yeah, yeah. The Gophers will be kicking off the second half, defending the South Enzo. Right. 
Okay, who do we have kicking off here? Number 33, Matt Hendricks is going to kick off for the goal first. Number 33, Matt Hendricks will be kicking off for the Dragons. Is Billy Hangen and number 20 Billy Hankin and number 44 Chad Jensen. Chad Jensen. Our deep Those are the two big off. guys on defense. <laughs> Hendricks kicks it away. It's kind of a low kick. Oh, pick it up. Oh, and Jensen picks it up and he's hit right away. Matt Hendricks, the kicker, was down there right away on the tackle. Jensen on the kickoff return, 33, Matt Hendricks on the tackle. The Dragons will have a first and 10 uh, a little bit more. The Dragons are going to just have to take the ball right now and uh, move it. Playing a really tough defense. Scott Robinson brings up the offense here. They're the same offense they had. The pitch out to Jensen, or not to Jensen, but to Sarsliff, and he's going to get a still going. Look at him carry people, Dan. What a run. He carried, look at that. There's 11 guys there for the Gophers. He carried the whole team. That's one thing it's hard to teach kids is that uh, 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 a good runner just keeps his feet moving, and that young man. Matt Hendricks was the first one there. But he killed Matt the whole Hendricks team. And several of his buddies on the tackle. That's going to bring up a second and real short here, about a, about a yard and a half. Quarterback sneak. He had the first down, and now I don't think he's going to have it. He had the first down, and he stepped back. Get six and about two quarters of <laughs> Crawley kept, or not Crawley, but Robinson kept the ball. Robinson just, uh, kept the ball, no game. He no had it, and then he Watson. tried to cut outside Dan, and you know. Hey, he had the momentum. Uh, I'm not sure if he realized exactly where he was. Yeah, that, I, you know, at this age, it's kind of hard. Here's the pitch out. It's going to be the Sheriff's left coming wide. He's got oh, some late blockers. He's got all of oh, them. Trevor Frischman comes up and laid it to him. <laughs> that was a stick. <laughs> Frischman really oh, delivered a blow there. The what a nice tackle. Frischman they're having a hard the time here. It was second down and, and one, and they're still down. now. They got fourth and, and about one. Go. I don't know. Do you, do you go for it or not, Dan? This is kind of a tough call. Yeah, this is a tough call because you leave the ball in the great field position uh, for the drag, for the Gophers uh, if you don't punt the ball. It looks like they're going to kick it with, with, the, with the punter they have. Hingen's boomed a couple of them earlier. And I guess I would, I would punt it here. You, you got the lead. Your defense is playing good. Why not punt it and let them? Uh, oh, and they, they got a timeout, it looks like. They called timeout just to time pick up the snap. The <laughs> Must have been something the coach didn't like on that. He may uh, maybe he's, he's second guessing himself, huh? Or maybe they had too many guys on the field. Uh, I'm not sure why they called the timeout, but maybe maybe they're not going to punt it. Maybe they're a fake punt or something here. Well, you can't fake it though. Yeah, once they declared the punt, <laughs> yeah, I think they have to punt. It, you can't you can't fake it. So I'm not sure what was going on. Maybe they did have too many guys. And it looks like they did have one too many guys out there. So it's actually you know a good use of the timeout at that point. Now we got a flag being thrown. I don't know what what this is for. Personal foul against the coach. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the coach or the Gophers. That's an automatic first down. What a kind of an uncalled for uh, penalty. Oh, it doesn't what a make any sense. Play. They were going to receive the football. They had the ball coming, and that, that, that's a huge play there. Personal foul, 15 yard penalty on the Gophers. It was a bench Big penalty bench. over there on the coaches, and you can see First they're not down, happy at all. They're smart on their face over there, but, but I don't think they're happy at all about that call, Dan. I don't it couldn't be. And now, you know, that could be the big play of the game. It's quarterback sneak right up the middle. That could Scott be, Robinson picks up about eight yards on the quarterback sneak. That could boost the Dragons. Uh, oh, that, that, that has to be a momentum, a momentum breaker there. You know, shifting the momentum here. The Gophers had stopped them. And the bench penalty really hurt them there. Yeah. It looked like Matt Hendricks was one of the first ones in on that tackle, number 33. Let's see if the Dragons, if the Dragons bring this in for a touchdown, that, that penalty is really going to, you know, could change the whole face of the game. The handoff is to oh, Hagen, a huge oh. ball! He's got the first down, he's, Trevor Fishman was running, he still doesn't want to go down, they never did get him down, Dan. Billy Hagen on the carry, 
Richmond on his back. <laughs> they are really, really blowing open some holes there. He didn't get touched until he was six yards downfield. No, they're fired up uh, right now. They bring him up again. And Sky Robinson comes up on her center. Brandon Powers is center. And here it is up the middle again. Hangin. Nice cutback. He's going to have another first down. It looks like the Dragons are using a quick count here. They're, They're really firing off the there. ball. The offensive line is doing a great job in there. They got some big kids in that offensive Billy line. Billy Hankin on the carry, number 31, Brian DeLong on the West, tackle. Or not Winslow, but uh, Paul Lee. Lee. Can you make set an out for about the spectators to do? Yeah, there's three, four people. It's it's comes Scott Robinson. That it brings them up again. It's first and ten. Hand off to Hingen up the middle. This time there's not quite as much there. He's met by a few of them there. Number 67, Steve Monsner, and number 44, Mike Johnson were the first two there. And it looks like they're going by the old rule. Uh, keep doing what's uh, going well for you. <laughs> if it works, keep running it. Until they stop you, I guess. And they finally we did stop him. It took them four times to stop him, but they finally did. They got the, the ball in the six, they got the ball's the right about just inside the 15. The and it's fence. second and eight. Now they're going to the opposite side. It's of the hanging field. again. They're really hanging's really the workhorse right now on this drive. And he's been. It looks like the Gophers may be keying on. Number 20, on Billy Hangen on the carry. Number now, 33, so Matt Hangen. Matt Hendricks is in on that tackle. And and they're going to have to find a way now with third and six. They got to get the first down here. They are definitely in a four down situation at this point, though. I mean, yeah, there's no way that they're going to go for it on fourth down, even if you don't get it here. Pitches out this way to Hingen. Nice blocking. Oh, nice tackle. Is that Trevor Frischman again? Trevor Frischman's doing a good job out there. He got him head on and stopped him right about, the, right about the 10 yard line. Number 20, Billy Hingen could not go down though again. I mean, he's really running hard here. He got stuck really good by Frischman, but he still didn't go down. That brings up a fourth and five. And we'll see if Sky Robinson's got a little trick play here to get that first down. I would say uh, that what's working, I would uh, try to run him right up the middle again. It looks like they're blowing some pretty good holes. Here's, here. here's the pitch out wide. It's Sarah Sliff, cuts inside. He's got the first down. Just barely gets the first down right there. Oh, well, that's goes to show that, It's going to uh, be first and goal on, the, on about the six yard line. It depends on the spot here. Yes, they do have the first down. The officials. Sarasliff with a nice. Nice run. I didn't see who made the tackle over there. It's first and goal on the six-yard line for the Dragons. So it's first and goal from just outside the five. Robinson brings him up. Oh, and it's a little reverse to hang, and he cuts it inside. He may go in. Down to about the one or two yard line, a nice run by Hangen. Looks to me, Kenneth, that bench penalty really fired up the Dragons. That, that penalty, I think, it definitely is the key of the game Hangen right now. I mean, you hate to have a, a penalty against your coach turn the game, Miller, but that's definitely what's happened right here. We got second and one. <laughs> second and goal from about the one yard line. Let's see if they try a quarterback sneak here. No, they hand off to Hangen. He's not in. Oh, he is he in. Hingen ran right over number 67, Steve Monsu. And number 55, Justin Marco is there. The no need yard. You know, you can't let him fall forward like that. The score now is going to be 12 to nothing, the Dragons. And the Gophers just have to be reeling after not trailing all year long. And to be down 12 to nothing here, you know, midway through the third quarter, they got to be wondering what's going on. That penalty really, really hurt him at this point. That does uh, seem to... Let's see strong. if they throw for it here. I, I bet you they try and throw. No, nope, the pitch out and, uh, looks like Hingen is not going to get in. He is going to get is. in. He is. He breaks the tackle and gets in. Oh, yeah. Broke the tackle number 22. Oh, yeah. Josh, Gordon. Josh Gordon was out there. He broke his tackle. And that, that whole drive featured Billy Hingen. I mean, it was just Hingen left, Hingen right, Hingen up the middle. He just did everything. Also, the, the Dragons' uh, offensive line seem is taking control right now. They just seem blowing the Gophers right off the line. Yeah, they, they really are, Dan. I mean, they, there were three or four plays there where the back was at least six or seven yards before he even got touched. Uh, his, well, we'll have to see if the Gophers can regroup and recover from that penalty. The score now is 13-0.
to nothing. I would think that the, this series right now with the Gophers having the ball is going to be a key to see in which way this uh, game is going to go. In the in the fourth grade, we kick off from the 40-yard line. Uh, it looks like we got Scott Robinson's kicking off. So Scott kind of does a lot for this team. Scott Robinson is kicking off. We got deep. We got Matt Hendricks and probably Trevor Frischman, I would guess, is the other one, number nine back. We got Justin Rocco in the up, and he returned the other two kicks. It's a short kick. Oh, oh I don't on it. Who's, who's got the ball over there? It looked like, oh, I thought number 20, Billy Hangan was going to get it, but 86 just jumped on it at the last second. Scott Corrali, you know, being the quarterback, he knew he had to get that ball. He had to go a long ways to get it. It looked to me that way. Dan, that would have really swung this game. That there would have been a, on the 47-yard line. That would have been a, almost a nail in the coffin. That's what right. the Gophers. There's still a lot of time here. We have 7.30 to go in the third quarter. We have plenty of time in the game. You know, they're, they're only trailing 13 to nothing. Two touchdowns, and they're, they're ahead if they get the extra points. So this is far from being over. Corrale hands to Frischman. Frischman breaks a couple tackles. Oh, oh he almost went all the way. He's still on his feet. Nice run. Well, I'll tell you, he's got 10 yards on it. But Trevor, he really fucking. Yeah, well, about five, six of them yards were all on his own. He was really a dragon to people. Number 31, Pat Darso, and number 42, Jess Fuller finally brought him down, Dan. But there was, I mean, that was only a 10-yard run, 11-yard run. But, boy, he really had to fight to get those yards. He had to work. It, it seemed like he ran a lot farther for as many tackles as he had to break to, just to get those 11 yards. <laughs> Raleigh's bringing him up again here. It looks like the Gophers may be starting to get a little fired up. It's too early to tell right now, but it, it does seem that way, Kim, that the Gophers are picking up a little bit of momentum here. It's got Caroli at quarterback. He's got the T backfield, and we got a flag. We'll see what this is. Delay a game. Oh, that hurts. Another big penalty. It's, right now, the Gophers are hurting themselves with penalties. I mean, that's, Everything, every time things seem to be working right, uh, the flag uh, uh, sort of <laughs> breaks her back. Right? <laughs> first down, 15. <laughs> 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 hands out to number 64. That's the first time. Oh, there's some flags out there. I'm not sure if it was a face mask or number, number 97. Jason Baltazar. Yes, that's it the was. Face a face mask. masking penalty. That's the first time we've seen Tim Luck. I mean, that, that's the first carry he's had the, this game. Maybe they're trying to change it up a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that they would have to almost do something right now. That's a big penalty. It's a first down. Uh, so that, that could, there's where the penalties come back and they, they switch the momentum. They had stopped him, they had him stop, and now they get an automatic first down here with that 15 yard penalty. Yeah, and let's see now if uh, they can work with this. They do have Tim Luck still in the backfield along with Matt Hendricks and Trevor Frischman as Caroli brings him up. So they got Just, Justin Rocco on the wing. And the pitch is back to Matt Hendricks, who's sweeping wide to the right. And they're stacking it oh, up. They, really well. Oh, he cuts back. He's oh. got a lot of room over here. He, he, could, go. Go. he could go. Let's see where's Jensen. Jensen might catch him. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, he stopped him on about the one yard Billy line. Billy Hangan, Billy Hangan dove out and just. Billy well, he dove out, just the nipped his ankle, just kind of enough to knock him down. Him down. A mixed play he goes right and has to break all the way to the left. That's one of the things with the Dragons is they pursue so well that on that play they over pursued. I mean, they didn't have nobody stayed at home. You can see Billy Hengen came all the way from the left side to make that tackle. Jensrud was way over to the left side already, and that, that was the first breakdown they had on defense. Let's see if Caroli brings him up. They're running a, a double wing here. Crowley, this could be a quarterback's keeper here. No, he hands off to Frischman. And uh, right. He's going to go in. There's a touchdown for Frischman. Oh, and that nice brings this game right play. back nice in there. Play. Play. The we got a ball game, Dan. We, we got, got ourselves a ball game. A ball game. 417 to go. We got 13 to 6 score. There's still, I mean, we got the whole fourth quarter left here, so there's plenty of time. <laughs> now, as long as the Dragons can regroup now and uh, don't lose their momentum. 
13 to 6 the score here with 4.17 to go in the third quarter as they try for the extra point. Let's see if they throw it here. I think I would run it in at this point, Dan. I mean, two runs and, you know, even if you don't make it on the run, you still could always throw it next time or, or even run it next time for the tie. Caroli, he's he going to run. He's, he may make it in. Oh, nice play. Oh, Billy nice Hangin. Vacuum. Billy Hangin was the first one there, number 20. And then he had a lot of help. I mean, without the help, he may not have got it. It looked like he was going to be in there, but then that defense uh, pursued really well to the outside. Stop the ball carrier short of the ball. 407 left here. 13 to 6 is the score. The score. And we'll see. I mean, it's a wild game, man. <laughs> it's a really good game. At this time, we can get the fifth grade coaches to get their rosters with numbers up to the press box. Yeah. He brings he brings a T out and then sits out there and talks to him. Matt Hendricks is set to kick off here. Back deep, we got Jens Rude and Hengen. Hendricks approaches it. Nice kick. Nice right kick. to Jens Rude. Take it straight up field. You got a lot oh, of room. Oh, he's got a lot of room. And oh, he nice run. He's gonna he's gonna be run out of bounds there by number nine, Trevor Frischman. But it was a nice return. He got the ball all the way back to the Gophers 40 yard line. Good block. He has some uh, good blockers along that side there. Now that's what I like to see. Is I like to see the kid take the kickoff and just just take off with it. You know, head up field and when you get a chance, break to the outside. But. You don't get a lot of yardage if you run, you know, east and west. You gotta go north and south, especially in this field that does run north and south. <laughs> Scott Robinson keeps it and he's not gonna go anywhere. He's stacked right up at the line. Like Justin Rocco, number 55, just grabbed onto him and wouldn't let go. It looks to me like they got kind of a bad spot there. I have to say that. You know, he didn't lose anything, but they, they gave him about a half a yard loss. And Seems like the... Uh... Scott Robinson brings him up again. They got a double wing right. Oh, and there was a little bit of motion, but they didn't catch oh. it. He throws it up for grabs. Oh! oh. That could have been disastrous. Well, could have been play. intercepted, and, and Craig Sirislip had a shot at it, too, there, right at the end. At 50, uh, 55? Sirislip, number 33, was the intended receiver, but Justin he was Rocco. really... Justin Rocco was right in his face right away. You're right. He, he didn't have a chance. Johnson broke up the pass. Let's see what they do now here. We got third and third and eleven. They they need a big play here. They, they, they gotta get a first down, Dan. This is a key right here. Pitch back to Hengen. He makes the corner, but he only picks up about a yard or two. Trevor Frischman was the first one there to push him out of bounds. Billy Hengen on the short game. Trevor well, now let's see what they're gonna do with a fourth down and probably about eight I yards. Think, to I think go. you gotta punt it here, Dan. You have to. At their forty, put them back deep. There's 219, 218 to go in the first in the third quarter. I'd say you have to punt it and hope that your defense doesn't have another letdown. Yeah, there's a little disagreement. Some people feel we should go for it here, but I still, you know, those guys are running cameras. Obviously, they're not coaching either, so none of us. <laughs> Billy Hangen's got the ball. He's ready to punt it here. Again, they can't rush in the fourth grade, so he can take as long as he wants. And that's another a nice kick. Part. If he gets a roll, Matt Hendricks Get away from that. picks oh. it up. Scott Robinson is right on him right away, and he had some help over there. I didn't see who the second guy Robinson and Jens Robinson with a real nice tackle, and then Jens came in and helped clean him up. Yeah, that could have been a little bit dangerous uh, trying to take that ball on a bounce like that. to go in the third quarter. We have a real good game. The Gophers score here. They're right back in it. I mean, they, they could go ahead with the score here. Yeah, the Dragons defense is going to have to come up with some big plays right now. They got them in a hole. I mean, they're only on their 24-yard line. If they can shut them down here, they they do have them in the hole. Caroli brings them up again. It's a microphone. See what Caroli does with the ball. Hands it off to Frischman, and Frischman oh. is bent right away by number 55, and I didn't catch the other number. What a great defense. But he tried to fight out of the 55 was the first one there. That's Jonathan Gross, and I didn't see who the other guy was, but there was another one right there with him. 
31. It could have been number 31, Patrick Darson. But 55 was right in the backfield. Four-yard loss on the play. They, this play never had a chance to develop. That's, Seems like they're taking just a little bit too much time getting that handoff in the backfield. We got Rocco on a wing left. Let's see if they use him as a lead blocker or if they give him the ball here. It looks like he's going to lead block for Hendricks. He's got some blockers out in front of him. But he's going to be oh, I thought he was going to be caught from behind, and he did, number 31. There's that Patrick Darso again. He, that's two plays in a row. He made a real nice play there. But you know, the, kind of the key to that play was that Jensrud stayed out there and slowed the whole play down and gave gave time for him to the defense to come up and help out. So that, that's the end of the third quarter there, Dan. The score, 13 to 6, with the Dragons ahead. And the, the Gophers are going to have to figure out a way. We're going to take a quick commercial break here with the score of the Dragons 13, the Gophers 6 in this fourth grade championship game. Randy Travis on strings. Branford Marsalis on the horn. Paul Schaefer on keys. Carly Simon on lead. There are a lot of different parts to play in the American Red Cross. Play your part. We are back for the fourth quarter of a real good game, Dan. We got a score of 13 to 6. The Gophers have the ball. And they're gonna they got a long they got a long drive to make. Long way to go. They got third and about 13 here. This is a big play. They shut them down here. The Gophers are gonna have to punt, you know, with, with just starting the fourth quarter. Rowley's under center. Well, they got a blitz coming in there. Blitz. Oh, oh, and he got oh, them. He stopped them off. The ball's loose. And who's got it? Looks like the green. Oh, what a great play. play. Number 31. We seen a blitz coming right from the backfield. And Patrick they Darso, stopped him. On that, that, that whole series there, Patrick Darso at the end of the third quarter and now to start the fourth, he's just been all over. What a nice play. I mean, they, they had a perfect defense call for that play, Dan. You're running wide and they blitz just about everybody. Beautiful play. They, they didn't have a chance in the backfield. Let's see what the Dragons can do here. They got, this, is, this is a key for the Gophers. They got to stop this Dragon team. You're right. They have to stop them. Scott Robinson pitches back to number 22. That's Duvall. He's trying to go wide, and he's in trouble. We got flags flying. Trevor Frischman, number nine on the tackle. Could possibly be a clip out there. It looks like it's a hold. It looks like he called it a hold, Dan. Trevor Frischman on the tackle. There's a penalty on the play. That play just, it took too long to develop. And, you know, I don't know where, I didn't see the hold from up here. It looked like, you know, the the back, the back judge or the, the the one in the backfield, anyway, <laughs> through the flag. Now, the, we'll see well, what talking, happens talking to, talking to the Gophers here to see uh, what if they want to either take this or decline it. What do you think? Uh, you I, take would this think one? That, I would think you would take it and stick them back a little bit farther. I guess I, I, I agree with you, Dan. You, you take the penalty and push them back. Penalties. Later, clock's supposed to be running. Oh, he, he told him to shut it up. They say he told him to shut it up. We know. <laughs> I'm just telling you what they tell me. Well, they did take the penalty, Dan, so you were right. So now we got about second and uh, 19. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Robinson brings them up. And they got uh, first and 20 here. The pitch back to Surfslip. He could be in trouble in the back of the Oh, and he breaks a tackle. He stole, he runs into his own guy. He's still going. Finally, Trevor Frischman brings him down, but he ran into his own guy. He had to run through his own guy. Hey, there, guy. If, it, if he would have, his own man wouldn't have been in the, in the way, I think he might have won. He may have won, Dan. You're right. He, he ran into his own guy. He had to, he had to battle 12 guys there, not, not just 11. <laughs> Justin Rocco had a shot at him in the backfield, but he broke that tackle. Well, that gopher defense is going to have to come up with one more big play here. Fumbles the snap and picks it up on the bounce, pitches off to... 
Sir Sliffin, oh, he's dragged down from behind. Number 33, Matt Hendricks on the tackle. I'm glad you that was, they got a real lucky bounce there. I mean, Robinson dropped the ball and it bounced right back into his hand, Dan. He was able to pitch it out. They've been having some problems with that all day. Yeah, a little bit of a... I'm not sure if it's the pitch itself or uh, maybe a little bit too, like, too quick in the backfield. We got third and nine here. The ball is on about the 14 yard line. Let's see what they come up with. Oh, the blitz is on. Billy really Hangan with the reverse on that. It was a little counter play, brought it back to the other side. They just barely beat the reverse. Number 20, Billy Hangan on the He picked up about five yards, so we're down to, he's got a fourth and five here. Now this is a key, uh, the Gophers got a hold here. Oh, they have to, I mean, you give them a first down here, then they get first and goal. Uh, you know, the odds are you're gonna score at that point. Let's see what happens. Robinson brings them up. Hands it off to Hengen. Hengen. Oh, oh and he's, he's stuck. By a host. He didn't get it. Trevor Frischman, the first one there, laid a good lick on him. Man. He had a lot of help from Smarty Piece. Number 67, Steve Ronsrud was in there with him. So the ball goes over on down stands. So the Gophers did what they had to do. They had to hold them. Now they got to take it down and score. We got 11 minutes to go. Yeah, they got a long time to, uh, to come back in this game here. They, they got to just uh, get the momentum going here now. And uh, just it doesn't. You don't have to go for a big play right now. You got plenty of time. Just take it and march it down the field uh, little by little. Oh yeah, with, with 11 minutes to go, they got plenty of time to score. But they they can't afford to fumble again like they did before. <laughs> Caroli's under center. Takes a snap of hands off. It looks like a sweep Matt to the right Hendrick. side. Hendricks could be in trouble. Billy he Hagen's is in trouble. Him. Oh, oh, he's stuffed at the, the one yard line. The one yard line. Billy Hagen is playing a heck of a game out there. He, he's done it all, both offensively and defensively. Now them Gophers, they got to think about a safety here. Ball's on the ball. It looks like. About the two and a half here, second down, and it's about well, 15. That's a two and a half yard line. So we got to score 13 to six with 10, just over 10 minutes to go here. So we'll have to see. It's starting to snow a little bit out there, Dan. It's, I'm kind of glad we're in here with the heat and everything inside. I hope our cameramen are enjoying themselves. <laughs> well, the blitz is on. And that, oh, oh no, and he's gonna get him in the back, and it is he a safety. Did get a safety. Oh. Billy Hagan on a tackle. What a key to the game. They, they blitzed up the middle and made it first into the wide. That, that play was supposed to go up the middle, Dan, but the, they blitzed there everybody. Was, yeah, there was nothing up the middle. He had to go wide. They blitzed everybody. And they, they didn't have a chance. I mean, Matt Hendricks had to run it wide, and when he ran it wide, Billy Hagan came in and stuck him. Now the, now, now the uh, Gophers are going to have to either punt the ball or after, kick it to the Dragons. After the safety now, we have a free kick from the 20-yard line, so they can either the use a tee or punt it. It's their choice. They can't use a tee to kick it, but they can punt it, they can punt it or they can kick it off the ground. It's considered a free kick. And it's really a, a good play for the, the defense to get the safety there because then they get the ball back and you always get good field position too here, you know, because they're kicking from their own 20. I'd it say looks the like they threw the tee out onto the field anyway. <laughs> but I'm not so sure if they can use the tee or not. Well, it looks like they are going to use the tee. They can't use the tee. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that, right? Hey, rap, that guy can't use a tee. They can't use a tee. Why can't they? They're not supposed to be able to use a tee, but the refs are gonna let them. That's right. So. <laughs> Matt Hendricks is back. Here's a kick. It's a low kick, and it's gonna be picked up by Jensrud sometime. I'm gonna get on that ball. <laughs> Jensen picks and he does it up, get he's on coming it. wide left. He's oh, got he's got, got a lot of room out, room out here. Nice block there by number 96. And he cuts back up. Nice run, 96 is Brandon Powers, their, their, their uh, center. He threw a nice block there to let him get around the corner. Without that block from Powers, they don't get around the corner. So that was really a big play. And it's like we were just saying, Dan, you get great field position. They got the ball on the 31 yard line. They're ahead 15 to six. Yeah, there's only no nine minutes to go. They're, they're, they're in a good position now just to eat some time off the clock. 
<laughs> Let's see what Robinson does here. He pitches it out to Sertzliff. He's got a lot of blockers in front of him. He cuts inside. He didn't follow his blockers. Yeah. <laughs> didn't follow his Tried blockers. Tried to cut up inside all on his own, and the blockers were to the outside. Sertzliff on guess the you'd, you'd hope at that point your blockers would cut up and take those guys. Scott we'll Miller on the Second tackle. down in about eight, eight yards. And you can see there with 8.44, the clock running, the score 15 to 6, and the Dragons do have the ball. Let's see what Robinson does here. He brings him up, he's going to pitch back. To oh, and the ball! Who's got the ball? Looks like... Greg Sertzliff got back on it. That ball, that pitch, every time they went to their right, they're having problems pitching the ball that way. Yeah, it seems like the pitches are a little bit too high. Yeah, they're, they're not getting there fast enough. They're really looping in there. But that's the ball that Craig Sertzliff should have caught, though. Yeah, I agree. That went right through his hands. Yeah, go. Yeah, and uh, there is also a slight drizzle out here in the field that could be causing a little bit of problems with their backs to be grabbing hold of that uh, football. And it also could be that the quarterback itself... Uh, oh, he's out of bounds. They pitched off the Sarah slip on that play, and Trevor, Trevor Frischman came over and, and knocked him out of bounds, but what a big play. I mean, they, they had a mile to go, and now it's going to be fourth and one. That was a big play there, Dave. Big play. You know, as, we, as Dan was just talking about, we do have a drizzle out on the field. It's almost kind of snow or rain. It's tough to see it from up here, but our cameramen are enjoying it out there. So that's going to be problems. Here's the handoff to hang it. He's got the first oh, down. Oh, he's stuffed right there. It looks like he's got the first down, though. He only needed about a half a yard. Trevor Frischman again on the tackle. Frischman's been all over. They didn't get a very good spot. <laughs> and they're going to measure. Looks like they're gonna, no, they're not. They, do, they just give it to him. I'll tell you, I thought he had about another foot or two on the carry. But yeah, there was it's tough to tell from up here when, where the, when their knee goes down. You know, Where they end up, you can always tell that. But where the knee goes down, you can't see from up here. It looks like the Dragons are just uh, going to try to eat the clock up here. And uh, Well, that was a big first down for him, Dan. Here's a handoff to Hangin up the middle. What a run. Look at him go. He might He's go just in. dragging oh, people. I don't think they're even there. There's a flag on the play. I wonder what the flag's for. Hangin on the carry number He didn't want to go down again, Dan. We do have a flag. We'll have to see. It looked like uh, Mike Johnson and Brian DeLong were on the tackle. We'll have to wait and see what, it looks like it's a face mask penalty. We'll see if this was a major infraction or just a minor one. I think it'll be halfway to the goal. Yeah, it's halfway to the uh, goal line. So they got the ball at about the, just outside the five. Now, if they score here, Dan, it could be over. I agree. Uh, the the uh, Gophers are going to have to come up with some big defensive plays right now. We'll see now. I mean, they've been running, hanging up the middle. Let's see if they stay with that again. I guess I wouldn't want to pitch it here. They've been having problems with the pitch. There's a handoff to hang it. He cuts right. Right. He, he may go in. He what does go run. in. What a run by Billy Hangin. He was hit almost in the backfield, Dan, and he caught it off of Hangin. Just uh, offensive line there did a great job of blowing a hole in that. Uh, uh, that makes the score 21 to 6, Dan. And there is an injury on the field, and we, we still have the extra points to go. But with 21 to 6, they're gonna, they got the Gophers really are going to have to do something here to get back in this game. <laughs> We got 5:40 left to go. The clock has stopped because of the injury and the touchdown. They stopped the clock at that point. Hopefully, he's not he's not hurt too bad, Dan. You know, you hate to see anybody get hurt too bad. He's probably a little disappointed too that they scored the touchdown. Yeah, I think. Uh these teams have met twice in the regular season. Yeah, they definitely know each other. I mean, you know, playing each other twice. And like I said, the Gophers, I'm the commissioner for this league. So, you know, I, I know these coaches and talk to them and, and know what's going on. It looks like it was Matt Hendricks who was the injured player. And he's walking off on his own. He looks okay. Shake it up a little bit, I think. Maybe a little bit of disgust for him, uh, the touchdown. Yeah, I'm sure that's part of it. I mean, he's a real hard-nosed type football player. And he doesn't like to lose. Yeah. And that's, you know, I'm sure he's disappointed that they're behind, so. But we'll see here if they can get the extra point. 
Holding this extra point could really be a boost for the Gophers if they have any hope of coming back. The quarterback sneak, and he's going to go in. He's in. Robinson kept it right up the middle. They're running behind their big guys there. they got Brandon Powers there at yeah. center. And he's been running right behind those guys all day. You can't say enough about the offensive line for the No, they're Dragons. doing a they've fantastic been, job. They've been doing everything. And you can see now the score, 22-6. to six. And there's... 540 still remaining here, and we're at uh, Panther Field in Blaine, or in Spring Lake Park. We'll see now. Uh, I would assume Scott Robinson's going to kick this off. He's been doing all their kicking for them. And, and the Gophers really, I mean, at this point, they, they almost need to, to run this back for a touchdown. I would think <laughs> that they need a really big run right here. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, they they got their big guys, Frischman, back along with, uh, well, it doesn't look like Hendricks is in there. He's still on the bench, and he's one of their big guys on this run back. So, yeah, he may have been put in there. They're putting, uh, they're putting, is that number 67, Steve Monsrud back there with uh, Trevor Frischman. I'm sure they're hoping the ball goes deep enough to one of those two guys so that they can get a good run back here. Uh, they got Rocco, Justin Rocco up in front. Here's the kick. Oh, it's oh, it's not going to go 10 yards, though. That's going to be a penalty. It went out of bounds, too. And I think they'll uh, re-kick. Uh, yeah, well, if it doesn't go 10 yards, you have to re-kick it after a five-yard penalty. It's an illegal procedure penalty is what, what it's considered. And he's just plain missed it. Again, with the rain and the drizzle and everything down there, it may be, uh, you know, it's even tough to kick the ball, obviously. <laughs> that, that just squirted right off the side of his foot. That could be a little bit of a break for the Gophers. It moves the ball back a little bit, so they get a little bit well, better Well, they need all the position. help right now. You know, anything they can get right now, they're going to take. So, <laughs> We'll see if Robinson can hit this one a little bit better than he hit the last one. That could have been a big break for the Dragons had it went to 10 yards and they would have recovered it. Yeah, I wonder the drizzle has a little There's bit. There's a nice kick. It looks like uh, oh, Matt Hendricks is back in there, and he takes the ball. Oh, and oh, he's, he's got a block. He's, and he could go! Number 36, he stepped on the sidelines oh. ball right there. Nice, nice return. He got a real nice block there. He got the ball to the 36 yard line. So, I mean, that penalty definitely helped him. That's a great. They got a real nice return. They, they need Hendricks back in there. They need to come up with some quick play right now to score and bring this into a uh, go for an onside kick. Yeah, we got. So you see they're wiping the ball off here, so it's obviously, you know, wet out there. And, and that's going to hurt, that's really hurt the, the, the Gophers at this point, because you, you think that if they, if they do throw it off, now's the time they're going to have to do it. And with a wet ball, it's going to be that much tougher to even try and do that. Yeah, the Dragons, are, uh, what they can do now is they can just key off on the quarterback and go at him. We got under four minutes to go here. They, they need three touchdowns to just get back in this. They got Frischman took the ball at quarterback. They've done that now a couple times where they've stuck somebody else in there. And this time it was Frischman. And Hengen was on the tackle again. Hengen's just been all over for the Dragons. He's, he's doing a, a he's doing job. a fantastic job today. It looks like uh, it's starting to, starting to rain, a little bit of snow, a little bit harder now. So, I mean, that that's even worse for the Gophers yeah, at that's, this point. That's, that's going to really hurt the Gophers' chances of throwing a the football. They got uh, Trevor, Trevor Frischman's at quarterback again here. They got a blitz coming sweep. in there, and they picked oh, it up, and block. he got, he, oh, the and he could go. buried the guy. And he is going to go. He's got a touchdown. You know, the key to that play was Matt Hendricks hit, hit Jensrud, hit Scott Jensrud, or Chad Jensrud over there, and he just ran right over him. And that's a great, that's a it's great break for the Gophers. They're right back there. in this now. There's three minutes even to go here in the game, and with the extra point here, with the score 22 to 12, you know, an extra point, if they if they were to throw it in, it's 22 to 14. Now they're, they're right back in this. Uh, you know, I'd assume that they're going to have to try an onside kick. Right, and they're uh... 
losing, they're, they're going to have to, I would say they have to throw for two. I would have to say that you with know, the score being 22 to 12, they would have to uh, almost pass for this uh They got Fishman, a quarterback again. I would guess he's probably going to run it, though. Right up the middle, he's in easy. He wasn't even touched, Dan. They didn't even touch him. 33, Cassie, 44. They, they saw Frischman come in there, and I think that they were, you know, he'd be running outside twice in a row, and they, everybody went outside, and he just took it right up the middle. That kind of hurts uh, their chances. Well, they're going to have to not only score once, but they're going to have to score twice to get back in this 22 game. 22 to 13, you know, they... they 22 to 13 to score here now with uh, 2.59 to go. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to get going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with <laughs> with the score 22 to 13, if they would have thrown the ball there and had 14, they they could have just had one score with getting eight points and had a chance to tie it. But now they got to score twice. Billy Hengen's deep, and he's in trouble back there. Just hang on to the ball, and what a run, though. I mean, the kid does not want to go down. They finally dragged him down. He had about eight guys on him. He was deacon and deacon back there, and he was just impossible to bring down. I still, Dan, I don't understand why they didn't throw for it. No, I don't understand it either, because now you leave yourself that you got to score twice to get back in this game. You throw for it, and you got 14 points. You score another touchdown and, and get the two-point conversion again, and you got a tie ball game. Right. Now they got to score two touchdowns. So we'll see. It looks like there's a timeout on the field here. I'm not sure who took it. We have 229 to go in the game. And and I don't know. <laughs> you see the referees out there trying to stay warm. They've done a pretty good job so far today. I'd say the Dragons are a pretty elated uh, football team. Uh. Well, we're ready to play again here as the coaches come off the field after the timeout. And the Dragons just need to get a couple first downs and it's over, Dan. we got Robinson. He's going to hand it off to hand it, hang it up the middle. And he's hit by Frischman again. I think that's the key right now. They're just going to take the ball and just drive it up the middle and try to get this stuff. Uh, they can get, you know, it. two, three, three or four yards on every carry. That's all you need to do at this point. Just, you know, every three downs, get a first down. Billy Hangen on the carry. It looks like he, got, he only got about two first. So they're going to need a little bit more on this, this carry to, to keep it going. But a couple first downs and this game's over. And we come to the two-minute warning right here. The both benches are warned that there's two minutes to go in the game. And... And the Gophers really need to, to stop them here. They, they got to cause a fumble or something. Hanging up the middle. Oh, and that's they're ripping it. at the ball. You can see they're really ripping for the ball, but he's just yeah, hanging trying, onto it. They're trying to pull that ball the out as uh, best they can, but them guys, the backs are really holding onto the football now. Josh Gordon at number eight. The Gophers take a timeout here with a minute 44 to go. Uh, it's going to be third and, third and real short, third and just a couple inches. I guess if, if I was the, the Dragons at this point, either you give it to hanging up the middle or you just quarterback keep it. The quarterback gets it here. That's the second go for timeout, I think. They're going to uh, almost eat the clock right yeah, now. That would basically take care of the game. You could almost just sit down on it. So we'll see what uh, Scott Robinson has in store out there and as the coaches come off the field again. We got third and just less than a yard. And Scott Robinson, it is a quarterback keeper, and he's got the first down. Not by a lot, but not by a whole lot. He just barely made it over that line. You don't need much. All you need is just to cross it at this point. Uh, yeah, and I'd say this game here is uh, almost done. Uh, yeah, there's almost less than a minute and a half to go. And I, I'm not even so sure that, that the Gophers can even take a timeout at this point. That's got to be a tough loss for the Gophers after going 10 and 0 during the season, winning their first game in the playoffs, and then to come in here and, and get beat. Yeah, and uh, the Dragons themselves, they can be really overexcited about this game. To come back and beat a team that's beat them twice during regular season, that's... Let's, uh, let's see if they just sit on the ball. No, Robinson's just going to keep it right up the middle. Real safe play. No reason to hand off anymore. Uh, they, they can't stop the clock. They just have to do that twice more, and the game's over. I guess they had the, that's going to be the last time out there. 
So, so they did have one timeout left, and that the that trophy takes care of it. for this game will take place south of the south end zone. Well, Dan, you know, it was a real good game. A real good game. I'd have to say that. Uh, I'd say the Dragons, uh, they came out uh, pretty fired up in this game. <laughs> well, we'll have to see here. See what happens. I would, as the coaches come off the field here, we have 54 seconds left. Second down, all they need to do is just... Uh, I'd say just almost... Uh, just run it right up the middle again. That's what they're doing. They can't, the Gophers can't stop the clock anymore. With it running, they can do that, you know, that one more time to do it, and then we'll see if they if it runs out. You can see there, we have 39 yeah, seconds. 25 seconds to get the ball off after the uh, referee uh, blows his whistle. Let's see what's happening here. The player, we got uh, the quarterback comes over to the sidelines. Uh, they may take a delay of game here. They may just let it run down and take the delay of game penalty. And then, and, and then they, they sit on it and the game's over. Uh, they wouldn't have to run another one. I guess, you know, if, if that's what they're thinking, I'm... I think he's just going to take like, a snap right now and uh, kneel. They're going to have to hurry to get it off before the delay of game. And here comes the flag. They didn't make it. It doesn't hurt them at all. No, it doesn't hurt them at all. Oh, they're going to stop the clock. There's five seconds left in the clock. Delay of game penalty on the Dragons. All they have to do now is just sit on it, and it's over. I mean, one second showing on the clock. I think uh, he's getting instructed right now just to uh, kneel on the ground. Now, win the game. We saw that in the last game, the second and third. You just take the ball, kneel down, and it's over. And then the celebration begins for these kids. And the Gophers that can't hang their heads. I mean, they had a real good season. They, they went 10 and old during the season. And we got another flag. It looks like it's probably. That's the game. So the game ends there. And the clock started after after the the penalty, which it does do here. Uh, we, we, they're playing it's just funny. So so they run the clock out. And as you can see, that's the final here. And the Dragons the beat the Gophers 22 to 13 in this fourth grade the championship 13. game. Congratulations to both teams. Again, the trophy presentation will be south of the South End Zone. All right. Oh. The Minnesota Media Archive is brought to you by North Metro TV. Your support helps make the archive possible. If you like this video, please consider a one-time donation.